Welcome back guys, kamusta kayong lahat? Welcome to back to Pinoy Crossover, Mark and Mark right here. We're gonna go a little bit of an introduction about Filipino Heritage Night that happened recently at the Raptors Scotia Bank Arena, Dallas versus the Raptors. We're gonna give you a little bit of a video in terms of what we experienced as Pinoy Crossover crew. So check this out. Everybody, your boy PJ, we got JR right here, we got Marky Mark, Filipino TV, Pinoy crossover. We actually made it, guys. We are in the venue, Scotiabank Arena, now it's called, but it's the Toronto Raptors home. I'm so excited, JR. How do you feel being here? I mean, it's a great stepping stone from what we've accomplished from Raptors 9 to 5. You know, we've covered some, a lot of Raptors 9 to 5 games, including uh, some Philippine Heritage Nights. So, this is just a start for us, you know, bringing, bringing that whole night event here downtown Toronto and with the actual Toronto Raptors is a, a big step for us and you know hopefully we have future Philippine Heritage Nights like right here it's Scotia Bank Arena. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to think about it but this is an amazing night it's a big milestone because Toronto Raptors the actual Toronto Raptors as really gracefully and you know hosting us as Filipinos here. Marky Mark how do you feel about being here? I mean, this is a dream come true, not just for us, but for Rise Tribe as well. Big, big shout out for you guys. You guys have put in the effort and you guys have put in a voice for us as Filipinos to the MLSC and say that, you know, we have a big community and we need to be recognized as Filipinos. It's the second time uh, the Raptors have done it. The first time it was done in, was in 2004 when um, Eric Spolstra uh, was part of the Miami Heat um, coaching staff. But it hasn't been done since, so it's been a long time. Uh, we started it in the 905 side two years ago, and luckily over time, you know, we kind of uh, built a, a nice following and um, kind of built the name for Rise to, to kind of do this here with the Raptors. It's been a dream come true. We've been working with MLSC on this for the past three years. Um, they gave us a chance, and we worked with the Raptors 905 for the first two seasons. Obviously, you guys have been big supporters throughout. And when it came time for the 2018-2019 season, they came up to us and we were like, we're ready to do it for 905 again. And they're like, yeah, but by the way, let's let's level up. Let, let's go bigger this time. Let's work with the Raps. And you know, you don't have to ask me twice. I was like, we're in. It's been really great. Like we had a couple activations that we were involved in earlier today, which I think went off with a hitch. And now we're at the game, we're all enjoying it. It's been such a great event. Actually, in the morning, we were invited as Pinoy Crossover to play on the court, and we played with a lot of different Pinoys from the Rise Tribe. It was great. We got our cardio on. We got some shots. We got a newfound respect of the NBA players playing on like NBA courts. The three-pointer is really far, so if you've ever seen Curry play, mad respect. This guy can shoot lights out from that far. I don't know how anyone can do that. Now this game is Dallas versus Raptors, and what makes this game really special is again, we're at the gondola right now. This kind of gondola, this is full with Filipinos all supporting this night, and it's, it's special because this is what brings people together. Basketball brings people together, and it's just fun seeing familiar faces, but also having a night for Filipinos is something that will go on for a long time, hopefully, for the Rise Tribe. Yeah, I know. Events like this, I think we're around people that we know, the community, even people that we just met, like new people coming through with the Rise Tribe. It's a very special event. You know, we build memories off this, and this is just, again, a stepping stone of what more memories we could build with this, all this community, especially with Rise Tribe. Rise Tribe has done a great job in uh, hosting uh, this type of event, uh, past events at Raptors 95, and also the one tonight. You know, I hope that uh, it inspires young kids to know that, uh, you know, we have a great community, we have great people involved, great people that you can look up to, and uh, just be proud of your heritage. That's all. Why, that's the only reason why we're doing this. Just seeing the passion and the love that our Filipino community has for the game of basketball, it's like, it's not a surprise by any means, but it's refreshing to see that, you know, it's all coming together. And this is just the start. This is just the first time we're gonna, we're gonna do it, but definitely not the last.
And what a great experience that was to be part of Filipino Heritage Night, the very first since 2004 they've had it. Shout out to Rice Trap for really putting this all together. Mm -hmm. uh, out of the video that we saw so far, what do you guys thought about the experience or just seeing the video, seeing the experience or seeing the people that are really putting this together for Filipino community? I mean, obviously I wasn't there, <laughs> yeah. but just seeing the video and seeing how much work, I mean, to organize something like that and to be able to connect to the right people to do that. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, for them to be able to say like, you know what, like we do need to have something like this, a heritage night to highlight or spotlight Filipinos. That to me is already like a very, very big uh, uh, monumental achievement in mm -hmm. my opinion. So congrats to I you agree. guys and, and the rest <laughs> yeah, of yeah, Rice Tribe. Everyone, 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 oh, in, the man. Yeah. everyone in the Filipino <laughs> should, in the community us. should celebrate. This is a big muscle for us guys. I mean, to be part of something like this, mm -hmm. to start something like this, to have a voice. I mean, a Raptor organization like this, this big in Canada is recognizing our community uh, as you know, we're here. We're making we're we're making a, a land a landmark here in Canada, and that we're not just you know some other race in in, mm -hmm. in in other country. Like we're actually building a community, and we're making a difference here, yeah. and they're recognizing it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you said it. This is this is the I mean, Toronto Raptors, is the only team in Canada. Uh, like Vancouver Grizzlies are not there any are not here anymore. Uh, but acknowledging uh, Filipinos within the team that's the only team that's very supportive of the whole country. A uh, whole country backing them is it's pretty special, um, and then the thing is, we were talking about it with the other guys that in the video um, that Golden State Warriors they had their own Philippine Harris night where it's, everything is integrated, mm -hmm. where it comes from uh, to start a tip off. Uh, they don't have jerseys though, but they do have some um, events happening such as halftime. Yeah. Halftime, I, I think they do have some shirts, shirts. for the fans, yeah. uh, but they won't wear jerseys. Um, mm -hmm. They do have some events with halftime and during segments in and out throughout the whole game for just for the in-game experience for all those fans. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're hoping for. That's what they're hoping for at MLSC mm -hmm. and all the the group the Rise and Tribe. Rise Tribe as well. Thank you that's guys. what we're that's yeah. what we're hoping for to have that whole event happening throughout the whole game, not just watching the game, but those who are coming into attendance. We have T-shirts, we have events, we have some da like performances and like in games and, and, and segments happening. Just like what we, we've witnessed in Raptors 905, if you went to a Raptors 905 game where they have an integrated Philippine Heritage Night, mm -hmm. which is it's, it's, it's been happening for, for the past few years and it'll continue this uh, later this year. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I mean, Filipino community right here, getting a voice, that just to me means a lot. I mean, for someone like you, Ray, too, like, mm -hmm. you know, what you do at best is, you know, giving a voice out there for us, experiencing. And for now, Canada, I mean, we've just recently just uh, been announced by Trudeau that Filipino Heritage Month has been given exactly, to us. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's just great yeah. to have a voice, to know that, you know, uh, for us, a lot of hardworking Filipinos here are, are putting in the effort and putting in the work to make a living here and, and to be recognized, that just means something, means a lot. Mm -hmm.